Any idea why I might have stopped you? Yes, I was speeding. You were speeding. I thought you wanted to race. You thought, but you were in front of me. So you already won the race. You have any idea how fast you were going? 85. Add a couple more miles an hour to that. So let's see how good in math you are. Eight, add eight miles an hour onto 85. 93, yes. So, so this is Ironwood Road, right? It's the road. If you were on Interstate 10, you would still be speeding. 93 is also a criminal amount of speed. So just so you know, um, do your turn signals work? Yes. Are you sure? Yeah. You know how I don't know? Because you've never used one. So how much have you had to drink today? Because uh, I can smell it coming out of the car. Okay. Do you a favor, hop out with me to meet me over in the back here so we can talk. Uh, yeah, come out. <clears throat> okay. So, well, first of all, you do because there's Supreme Court case law that says you have to. Make sure you're careful. There we go. Hop on out here. There we go. Just come up over here. You can leave that on. So, oh no, don't. It's gonna blow away. Okay. Well, you don't. You don't have a choice. Um, and the reason for that is <clears throat> we're in. Um, you're in. Yeah. Step on. I just don't want you in between the cars. Uh, and actually, keeping that on for your safety is a great idea. Um, I had a beer after work, and I'm looking for a hotel. It's not why? Give me speeding tickets. Let okay. me go. Okay. Huh? Do, do me a favor. Let's what? let's look this way. Let's look this way. All right. Put your hands behind your back. Right now, what you're going to be is you're going to be under arrest. Okay. You're under arrest for criminal speed. So you committed an offense, okay. and I stopped you for that offense. All right. Okay. So when you said, "Oh, I can get my attorney on that," if you are going to get an attorney on me on me because I arrested you for a criminal offense to which you committed, I will take that because I feel like I'm on the mountain of right and your driving puts you in the valley of wrong. I would be remiss as a member of the Pinal County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit and as a lifelong arrestor of impaired drivers if I didn't at least conduct a full and thorough okay. investigation. That's fair. Right? That's, That's fair. Because I feel like I want to be fair. Absolutely. Any pills, because no. your pupils are real small. No, nothing, nothing like that. No. Still cold, which I like. And Kill Lifter is great because you're drinking local. I always appreciate, you know, Four Peaks, kind of a local brewery. Not not while driving with a straw in it. We're going to go down to our substation. So we'll have a little bit more of a talk there. Um, but right now, like I said, um, you being under arrest is something that's, that's important for you to know. I also want to let you know that you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you. Speeding. Yeah, it's a criminal offense. So you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to the presence of an attorney to assist you prior to questioning and to be with you during questioning if you so desire. And if you cannot afford an attorney, you have the right to have an attorney appointed for you prior to questioning. Do you understand that? Do I be arrested for speeding? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's a criminal offense. Your speed is criminal. Reckless driving is criminal. Yeah, Aggressive driving is criminal. For speeding, jail overnight for speeding. I, no, I never said I was going to take you to jail. I never said I was going to take you to jail. I said our substation. I think you're overstepping your boundaries here. Well, sure. you have, you know what the, so it's deputy is a, is a formal title. If we're going to go formal titles. Um, however, right now, my boundary is keeping drivers safe. I keep drivers safe by arresting aggressive drivers. Have you ever sped? Uh, I try you're not a hypocrite. to. I know damn well you have. You, you're that type that's so, uh, you're such a badass, dude. I, nothing you? about me is yeah, badass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're all flaunting yourself. Man, get your help. Take these cuffs off. Now, I'm not going to jail. I have not done any, I have not, I have not, I have not done anything that was criminal. I was speeding. Which is criminal. Okay, wow. So you're taking me to jail for speeding. I've never heard of that. Just because you've never heard of it, I think you're Doesn't mean it's, your boundaries here. I think you're You are free, One of the best things about this country is you are free to think what you'd like. It doesn't make you right. I've never heard of somebody going to jail for speeding. You should talk to more people. You could draw my blood and anything. We, we'll work, we'll work on that. We're going to get there. I can't believe you're taking me to jail for speeding. I, again, I never said I was going to take you to jail. The word jail has okay, never come okay. out of my mouth. Uh, I don't want to take those handcuffs off you right now. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. Jail for speeding. Again, I never said jail. I'm gonna need you to show up. I'll, I will 100. I Give promise. Uh, I really don't have. I try to take Sundays off. It's the Lord's day. Well, yeah, but you're not gonna. I need a day that you're gonna be in court for this. Four out of me is this one. This is completely oh extreme. You're. You think you're like God right now? I, That's that why is you go not to church true. Church saying, right? Are you God? I am not God. You're totally overstepping your boundaries. I was speeding, and you're taking me to jail. And I, I want an apology from you, okay. or you will be. You will be charged with. 
You will be charged. Tell me what I'm going to be charged with. I'd love to know. Because why are you, why are you, why in the hell do you have the right, because you're a police officer, to criticize me? I'm simply a trained observer. You're criticizing me. I don't think I've criticized you at all. Yes, you have. You accused me of possibly being on pills or something. It's my and job I, to I, ask those questions. Yeah, but you're already assuming that I am, and that's it's, wrong. I'm simply that's conducting wrong. a full and thorough investigation, no. and it's my job to ask those questions. It's called an investigation. That's literally what you do is ask questions. You're an idiot. I, you're an idiot. I was going over 85, 90 miles an hour. Let me see the proof. Okay. I, well, one. Criminal, I, criminal is over 100, over, over 97. It's criminal. Over 97. So 98 is criminal, but 97 isn't? Over 100, I think, is criminal. Well, I do this for let's a living. Get, let's get this over with then, man. Okay. Take me to jail or whatever. I said you can't have an open container. Car. I got some trash in there. That's that beer is cold to the touch. So then you better record that for the court. Just... I, I did, right there. Oh, it was your it was your word. I, I drank that hours ago, two hours ago, three hours ago. Nope, absolutely not. It can't How be. How do you know? Because it can't be as cold as it you is right you now. Know, you do not have a, anything to measure the temperature of that beer. I, that just you my hand. Take to court. Like I grabbed it and said, that's ah, cold. The word against mine. My, my criminal past, there is none, especially with okay. driving, it's perfect. So your word against mine is... Okay. I'm older than you. Uh, you I've absolutely been are. I've longer than you have. You have, I'm sir. I'm a better driver than you. That might be under, that tickets. might be up for debate. And you, what, are you a state trooper? That state? Yeah, I do pay state taxes in Arizona. As I said before, I'm a deputy. It, I work for the sheriff's on. office. Okay. Well, that makes you even... No wonder you're doing this. You're less significant. You don't have the jurisdiction that a state trooper does. And you just want to... You want to say, hey, I'm, I got power on this and that. Man, just get the out of my face you're making me sick and on sunday do your say your prayers to god absolutely. because i promise you you will suffer for this i promise you you will pay for this your bags these weren't on i'd probably punch you deputy schmidlin's my partner okay. deputy schmidlin this is uh okay. me like Okay, that's fine, but don't talk about my friend that way, man. Yeah, yeah so what I'll do is like, I'll let okay, you guys have a, have a, so there we go, yep, right. have a talk, there we go. Oh, gabapentin, uh, 800s, gabapentin has an impairment potential. Oh, wow. Yeah, so gabapentin. Oh, yeah, that's why his pupils look the way that they do. That, I'm like, hey, you do any pills? He's like, no, I'm like, your people sure are small. He does not like me, but I've already told him that he's under arrest. I know. I wonder why. You're such a kind Hearted soul. All right, I'll take him to the substation. Can, can you see if you can get? He said he'd submit to a blood draw. Yeah, he told me that too. So. so if you can do that portion of this, I'll take care of this. Thanks, partner. But you're going... I realized, oh. uh, the second I saw the speed limit sign, I realized I was going way too fast and I slowed down. Way too fast. I apologize. I'm, yes. I'm, I'm supposed to be at work in four minutes and I'm running late. So, so your poor time management has now created all of this. Yes, I apologize. Okay. Um, Do you have anything with you that says who you are? Yeah, I have an ID. Let's start that. So you have an ID card. So your driver's license is suspended. I haven't had one. Uh, I'm sorry, you what? I've never had one. You've I, never had a license? No, I, so why are you driving if you've never had a license? Did you put those stickers on your car? Yes, I did. Is that like a, like a proclamation that you've made? It's just a funny sticker. I thought it would be funny. Ah, see registration, current proof insurance. So, you don't have that. So you don't have registration. I know. You don't have insurance. You don't have a driver's license. And you're driving a self-proclaimed... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I think he's probably right with the, uh, the stickers that he put on his car, and I believe that car is going to become temporary property of the state because he's never been issued a driver's license. He just thinks that it's okay to drive around because he's a millennial and probably feels entitled to just drive as if it is a right and not a privilege. So he's definitely not going to make it to work on time. Definitely not making it to work. It's literally, it's like you just found every motor vehicle law that you could find 
and decided to not come in compliance with any of them. Like literally everything. The Arizona law says I shall tow this vehicle. Um, and with your um, voracious non-compliance of Arizona motor vehicle law, this this is just part of part of the uh, part of the what happens here. Loud and slow, not so much slow. Um, so, but you're free to go. So um, grab your water bottle, 